她从大山里跑向世界，承载着中国田径女子短跑的未来和希望的女孩。她就是短跑四金花之一梁小静。梁小静出生平凡，却拥有一个不平凡的人生。在南京举行的世界青年奥运会女子100米短跑的项目上，梁小静凭借强大的爆发力和稳定的途中跑能力，率先冲过终点夺冠。那一瞬间，拼尽全力的她险些虚脱摔倒。也正是这场比赛，让她成为了第一个在奥运级别百米赛道上夺冠的中国女选手，成为青奥会百米。She was pushed all the way by the underdog Liang, the Asian junior champion from 2014. Running out of her skin, what a great cup! What a great result for her! And Crystal Emmanuel knew that she was looking across. Buchanan got a really cool start in this hundred, and Liang coming strongly as well. But Emmanuel in the centre, pushing hard all the way, with Liang right by her side. And what a great run that was! The dip finish there from Emmanuel, just making sure that she could break through. 二零一九年八月二日。梁小静再获世界田径锦标选拔赛女子100米短跑冠军，刷新了她的个人赛季最佳成绩，同时也获得多哈世锦赛资格。战优，用力在后程再追，梁小静在前程的优势，慢慢的保持住，保持住的冲刺。一秒二七，梁小静的距离最赛达标差了零点零三，接近了这个达标的水平，获得了这次挑战赛达标的。而在二零一九年多哈田径世锦赛女子四乘一百米接力预赛，梁小静携手永伟丽、孔令威、葛曼奇，以四十二秒三六的成绩获得第三。
crossing the finish line on my first semi finals. China! Oh, an amazing first leg with Leanne. She just ran brilliantly. She's got like past that leg with her. Shillian Fraser to Smith, exactly what, just what you said. It was safe. Smith did not even move, and the Fraser Price, who's in almost, you could say, the form of her life, was so fast, you know, I think they're going to have to push that change out further. Here we see this final change over there. To make the look comfortable, they have room to breathe.在四重一百米接力赛和百米项目中，她是逆天的存在。但是二百米领域上更是怒拔头筹。就像在二零一九年多哈全运世锦赛选拔赛，女子二百米决赛上，梁晓静上演第八道传奇。虽然中途的时候
Skippers gets a breeze. It will start the young Chinese athlete Liang away running wild. Karina Horn's having to get, get back into this. It might have just got the third spot. Skippers came through for the win. 7.20. Liang after that very good start. Rewarded with a qualifying spot. And Horn, I was watching her and really get moving in the last few meters to ensure her third spot. Actually she got second in the end, uh, Colin. 719, good performance from the young Chinese athlete. Very quick start. Very quick indeed. And watching it, Steve, I was wondering whether Daphne would have uh, tried to run a little bit quicker, that, a little bit sharper than that, but she looked very relaxed in the end. Really not the best of start. Remember that the athletes around her are not the ones who can run 7 0. You want to really be really sure you're dominant, so the personal best of the 7 2 pass. But she switches down very early indeed. So to be rewarded at that time of 7 and 9 means that she's in decent shape. She's certainly got a metre of running left in it, which will take her to the 7 0, which will be very competitive later on. Yeah, I thought she looked very relaxed there, actually, particularly the last 15, 20 metres. She couldn't get the best of starts, as you said. Powers up. And then that huge frame of hers, once it gets moving, she can generate the speed, runs down the end, and then she can turn off a little bit more laps in the last 15, 20 metres. I thought that was pretty good, actually. But that the skipper's Karina Horn, by contrast, was rocking and rolling, having to fight hard up there. Not the best of starts, but I think they're very relaxed in that situation. Skippers的nice Ruhajaji 而如今也不乏有晋国英雄超越韦永利夺冠随后又在而大姐韦永利是四人之中年龄最大作为综合素质最强甚至性能突出的孔令威也是往往在前十米的时候奠定出领先优势
。这几个运动员之间呢，应该是太熟悉了，因为他们常年在一起训练。这是中国国家接力队的几大主力：葛曼奇、杨晓静还有彭威。从预赛来看呢。就是杨晓庆的体重状态还是比较保持他固有的风格，灵动快，但是他的体能状况、后劲、能力，能不能今天挑战一下自比赛开始，启动呢，大家都不是很稳定，有些晃。而葛曼提他的突发是最迅捷的，中段葛曼提保持住不错的竞技状态，最后冲刺孔令威还是在往前超，最后是湖南的廖梦雪是稳稳的获得了第二名。葛曼奇的位置跟他的，他们四人是中国田径女子接力的主力军，常常在世界大赛上争金夺银、怒发头筹。就像在2018年亚洲锦标赛女子100米接力决赛中，中国队派出的是第一棒梁晓静，第二棒韦永丽，第三棒孔令威，最后一棒是葛曼奇。在比赛开始的那一刻，他们四人准备时的状态十分放松，早早做好了准备。في الحارة الرابعة منتخب تايلاند ثم في الحارة الثالثة إذا نهائي اللعب鸣枪声响后，从第一棒梁晓静起跑速度快，开始就冲到了第一。第二棒的韦永丽，直到冲刺相当精彩。他拿到接力棒后，一直在扩大领先优势。接着第三棒孔令威与对手的距离反而被拉近了一些，还有最后的不到一百米的距离。最后一棒的葛曼奇再次发力，关键时刻进行冲刺，没有给对手任何反超的机会，把他们甩在了后面。最终，葛曼奇以四十二秒八七的成绩通过了终点线，中国队获得了比赛的冠军，全场为之欢呼。